So in this video, we're going to take a quick look at how we install Composer and use it to download project dependencies. So if you're not familiar with Composer, it's a dependency manager for PHP. Uh, a lot of packages now that you may want to use uh, either rely or recommend you use Composer to download them. So it's very useful to know. So this doesn't matter if you're working on Linux, uh, on a Mac, on Windows, it's exactly the same concept. And we're going to be working with downloading the composer.phar file. I'm not going to talk about how to install it globally, but either way, this will work. So the first thing we want to do is on the Composer website, head over to the download section here. This gives us uh, commands that we can use to download the Composer file. So. Uh, if we have curl installed on our machine, we can use this command here. Otherwise, if we just have uh, PHP installed and we don't have curl, we can use this command here. Now, I have curl installed, but I'll let you decide which one you choose to use. And just opening up my text editor here, I just have a, a directory here called composer with an index.php file in. So we're not doing anything here. But we need to be within this composer directory so we can download the composer.phar file in order to download our dependencies. So open up a terminal or a command prompt, depending on which operating system you're in. You can see that index.php file just in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste in that command that we saw on the Composer website, and I'm gonna hit enter. What that's going to do is download the composer.phar file for us. Uh, we're not really gonna to wanna to like look at this, it's just a, a phar file, and it doesn't really make sense to dive into it. But you don't want to commit this up with the rest of your code base. Um, ideally, you'd have a server with Composer installed globally. There's nothing wrong with committing this up, but uh, just bear in mind that it will obviously generally get in the way. So anyway, now what we can actually do is if we find that within this current project, which we're not doing anything in, we want to download a dependency, we can now do so. So let's head over to the Carbon GitHub page. Carbon's just a... A uh, simple way to work with dates and times in PHP. It's just a nice wrapper uh, or an extension rather for date time. So most repositories will give you instructions on which versions to pull in, uh, which package name we want to pull in. And you can see here that Carbon does just this. So under installation with Composer, we can use Composer require Nesbot Carbon. Now, because we don't have Composer installed globally, that depends on your system and whether you're on Windows or, or Mac or Linux, uh, we're going to be using the composer.phar file for this. So to run this, the command is require and the uh, name of the um, author is Nesbot and the package name is Carbon. So all we need to do is under our command prompt, is we need to run PHP, make sure you have PHP installed, you can run PHP V to get the version information. So we wanna run PHP composer.phar require nesbot forward slash carbon. And this is just whatever package you, you want to download. So we hit enter and you can see a couple of things happening in the side here. We have a composer.json file. And once that is downloaded, we'll have a vendor folder. So you can see that's now been downloaded and we have our vendor folder just here with our Nesbot package in. Symphony is a dependency of Nesbot and we have our auto load that we would require in for any project that we use. So that is how we install Composer and how we go ahead and download a dependency if we're not working with it globally. I'll let you go ahead and figure out how for whichever operating your system you're using to go ahead and install it globally and in that case, you'll be able to run Composer without having to run php-composer.phar.